Welcome back to the channel, this is episode 5 of Road to Budapest. As of editing this video, it's Sunday, so I've already had my season opener over 100 and 200 meters. I tried to vlog a bit more because we left on Friday to stay in a hotel in Belfast the night before the race, but I'm not really used to picking up the camera outside of the track, so I didn't get that much footage, but hopefully you enjoy. I'm going to try and implement a bit more vlogging into the future episodes, and this weekend was a bit of a tester for that so that when I go to Portugal next week I'm going to be a bit more used to picking things up and making sure I get footage off the track. Before we get into the race weekend I'm going to show you what I got done on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday leading into the weekend. On Tuesday I did some light gym work. I lowered the weight and reps on everything to stay fresh for the first race. Wednesday I did some acceleration out of blocks. I only got four reps done out of the blocks because my calf was in a bit of pain while accelerating. I saw a physio the next day to try to sort out my calf before the weekend. Friday morning before we started the drive to Belfast I did a really easy gym session. It was only about 20 minutes long focusing on explosive work. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Your dog's gonna be on the video man. Before going to sleep on Friday night, I did some foam rolling and stretching to try loosen out my calf before uh, the race the next day. It is Saturday morning and it is race day. It's about 
half 10 and we're going to leave the hotel at 11 so I said I'd give some race thoughts before leaving. The 200 is up first and um, it's at about half 1 and then the 100 meters is at an hour after that nearly. I prefer it the other way around but not really anything you can do so you have to move on. I've had calf problems in training for the past two weeks and it hasn't really eased up. Well it's eased up a little bit but um, it hasn't gone away. I have been running on it though and it feels okay. Uh, the physio says I should be able to race on it so I'm not too worried. It's more that you can kind of feel the pain in your acceleration phase but again uh, as long as I don't hesitate it should be fine. I haven't really thought about what times I want in the 200 because it's pretty much my first race back if you don't count the heat I did in indoors so like, I'm not really sure what shape I'm in um, but I like better than last year so somewhere around the sub 20.6 range. The 100 meters then at around 3 o'clock and I definitely want to PB in that just because I ran 10.43 three times in a row last year so like realistically I feel in better shape for that um, the problem is that it's, it's more about if I can execute on the race because I haven't done enough 100 meters to, to be able to execute every single time. Okay, everyone's ready to go, so we're going to pack up and leave. I'm going to try to get someone to video my warm-up, but I'm not sure yet. So hopefully I see you at the track. How's it going, my friends? Today, uh, we're going to talk about how to run the 400. I uh, please apologize for my track. It's a little bit bootleg. <laughs> to a whole new level. Rob McDonald, great to see him back. He's been dogged with injury, but one of our best two and 400 meter runners from Galway City Harriers in four. Toby Thompson in three from Ballymena Antrim and in lane two, Andrew Parker from the Lagan Valley. But it should be between Rob McDonald and Mark Smith in lanes four and five. So a great start there by Mark Smith. Closes down that stagger on Adam Murphy. All right, but inside him, Robert McDonald is there. Two of them are going to come into this home straight. So Mark Smith, the 200 meter specialist, Rob McDonald with the 400 meter stamina, and Rob McDonald's trying to close it up, and Mark Smith has it at the moment, but Rob McDonald's coming right back at him, but Mark Smith's going to take this one. Mark Smith from Rob McDonald, and then 20.70. Marks Adam Murphy then in third place from Tinryland. I was really disappointed with how my 200 went, but it was my first race back in a while, and a season opener, so um, I can't really complain too much. Some positives to take away from the race would be I got a really good start, um, I felt I was very fast in the first 60 meters and then I got into a nice flow coming off the bend. So I was in a really nice position with 100 meters to go. But then in the last 70 meters my legs just filled up with lactic and that's definitely not something I'm used to feeling in a 200 meters. Another good thing would be my calf felt the same after the race as it did before. A little bit sore in the acceleration phase but the pain never got worse and I never felt it in uh, the majority of the race so I was happy to go ahead with the 100 meters uh, an hour later so
So great start there by Bory Akinola and Joseph Ejuemi from Tal AC. But it's Bory Akinola and Rob McDonald is chasing them down as well. Looks like Rob McDonald's actually going to get up to this. He's actually moving away from them in the last 20, 30 metres. Rob McDonald takes that in 10 46. So I was not expecting that speed over 100. So 10 46. My 100 went a lot better, so I'm happy enough with that. But again, I was hoping for a better time coming into race week. But it's definitely a better start to the season. Bad news is that my calf actually got a good bit worse after the 100 meters. Um, I don't know why it was so much different to the 200. But uh, I was in a lot of pain for the rest of the day and was kind of struggling to walk a bit. Thankfully, it's eased up a little bit um, as of today, Sunday. So um, I'm seeing a physio tomorrow on Monday uh, and hopefully he can sort me out before going on my warm weather camp next week. That's the end of the video from my season opener. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Next week I'm going on a eight day warm weather camp in Portugal, Montegordo, and then we're gonna fly from there to Belgium and race in Ordigum on the 27th of May. I'm hoping to get two videos out of the uh, warm weather camp and then one video out for the race in Belgium. So if you wanna stay updated on that, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to get alerted when my videos drop. All right, the next video I'll be in the camp. Uh, hope, again, hopefully I'll be doing a bit more vlogging and showing you a bit more off the track footage. But until then, stay fast and I'll catch you in the next video.